Bridget from Whitney, forty pounds. Wow. Well done, Bridget. Anthony from Southmore Road, Come twenty. On, Samantha well Eagle, nice. Whitney, call, ten. I mean, we are accepting anything you've got. Hey, why don't you call us? Oh one eight six five three one eight seven hundred. There the phones go, and we'll happily accept your money. Mark from Finders Keepers uh, here at Jack FM, helping support the Sobel Charity 2009 appeal. Um, it's our chosen charity of the year. Um, we've got 15 members of the staff that will be supporting the charity phone-in and they'll be coming on three shifts. It's been very enjoyable. Uh, I've been answering the phone and taking pledges, taking calls from people. Um, some people have been phoning because it's very personal to them, um, to experiences that they've had in their life um, and individuals that they've known. Um, and they've been very happy to pledge and, and we've raised a lot of money. I started to get involved, I thought Sober House was a good, good charity and um, one of my friend's mums was actually in Sober House so it's a good thing to go and support local people. It costs about three million a year to run the hospice and the charity gives about 1.2 million of that money. Um, so any help we can get in raising money is fantastic. This was a wonderful opportunity for us. One of our journalists here is affected with cancer, terminal cancer, and of course being with her every day you really see the effects and we decided that it would be great to get everybody else involved and raise the money, the seriously needed money that Sobel House has to raise every year. And I know uh, Alan from Finders Keepers well, what does this mean to you, uh, you know, picking up the phone, getting this money? It's very exciting, we really need your money, it's a fantastic cause, get on the phone, make the call. And that number Alan? It's 01865 318 700. Very sexy man and your chance to speak to him. Pledge, we need a hundred of you to call us. 01865 318 700. What can I say? I just like to embarrass people a bit. It's fun. We've got uh, Finders Keepers volunteers helping us with all kinds of things over the autumn. They're doing some gardening for us, which is very important. They're helping us at some other fundraising events, and we've had a fantastic response to this radio appeal. It's important just, just to give up some of your time um, to help a very worthwhile cause. Um, so we have to do a lot of good work um, in, uh, in Oxfordshire, in the community. Uh, and there goes the phone, so it's good stuff. Hello, I'm Nigel from the Banbury office of Finders Keepers. And I'm Lucy Fagan from the Summertown office. And I've got involved with Giving for a Living today because cancer has affected my mother's family and um, I think it's a worthwhile cause and I'm very happy to be here. And I think it's important for Finders Keepers, a local business um, in Oxfordshire, to support a local charity. Giving time is more important in some ways because you can do more with that time and then you can sometimes get a disproportionate amount of cash back from others. Fifteen years ago my gran was in Sobel House and passed away and the help from the staff was unbelievable. So I think that it's something that everybody should be involved in.